Hi, my name's Alex Warford, and I wanted to show you a quick example of how you can route uh, data flowing using Apache NiFi. And uh, in this example, I have a CSV file, and this is a hypothetical example. And in fact, there's only three three records in here. And so um, let's say that these are um, credit card balances. Um, for for um, customers, and so we have a name, comma, credit card number, comma, and then we have uh, the balance amount. And so what we want to do, we want to split the data up into um, balances that look real, that that match the uh, you know have a decimal number, and uh, ones that don't. And we also want to create a Kafka queue. Um, for uh, one of one of the users, and uh, so this is what we're going to do. So we we read the file, and in this case, the file. If we look at settings, sorry, scheduling, uh, you can see that this is this is running every every second, um, and um, so in here we're going to read um, this file from this uh, folder. And then the next processor is going to split it uh, into lines. So that's what this is doing here. And now we are going to um, uh, pass out um, attributes of this. So we have a regular expression here. So this is the same regular expression three times, except the parentheses are in different places to select the uh, attribute we want to pull out. So on the top line, we're selecting the decimal number. Uh, the middle line, we have parentheses around the credit card number, which is basically just a, you know, a bunch of digits strung together. And the client name is in the the first um, the first column here in this one here. So this is going to add these attributes to the uh, to to the, the data flow. Um, and so now we can uh, route them. So what what this is doing here? Uh, we have um, matched and unmatched here. And so if the uh, the input data matches this pattern, it's going to go to the matched queue. And if it doesn't match, it's going to go to the unmatched queue. So look, you'll, you'll see like a topic name here. So this, this is called valid balance. And the, there's another topic here uh, called uh, invalid balance. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, just um, you know stream this data out of Ka Kafka and see what it looks like. So these are the valid balance records, and you can see that you know David Kaiser and Thiago um, both have valid balances. Um, but if we were to look at the original data, you can see look, there's Alex Walford, and his balance is NA. Um, so you can see that he doesn't show up in this um, Kafka topic. Now uh, let's have a look and see. So the unmatched transactions, uh, they they would go to uh, invalid balance in this case. And so let's um, uh, stream the the uh, invalid balance uh, topic and have a look at this. And you can see, look, here's Alex Wolford. Uh, you know, every second he gets uh, an invalid balance. And now um, the other the other thing that we wanted to do uh, was route on attribute. So we wanted to take if the client, uh, which is an attribute that we we uh, pulled out of this file, if that equals uh, Thiago Santiago, um, then we want to put those in their own um, separate Kafka queue. And uh, so here we go, we have a Kafka topic called Thiago Santiago. Let, let's stream that. Um, so we'll put this in the uh, topic name here. And let's run this. And we should see, uh, you know, Thiago's uh, records appear in this uh, come on yeah here we go yeah so so uh, well I hope that was helpful so um, what we covered here was reading a file splitting it into a CSV um, adding attributes to it and routing on those attributes and if it doesn't match if it can't pass out those attributes then putting it into uh, separate separate uh, places. And uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you. Bye.